Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the living bread that has come down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the chalice of salvation the blood that has been poured out for sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us to heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need May at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God Horeb, Elijah came to a clave cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rendering the mountains and crushed rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, but the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you will arrive, you shall anoint Hazel as king of Arm. When they, then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Namish, a king of Israel, and Elisha, son of Seraphat of Abel Manoah, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the reading today is, I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. 
Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Praise his name, praise his name. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. And so Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to go and have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, commits her, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, Jesus reminds us of the horror of sin. He reminds us of the consequences of sin. And in the midst of that, Jesus tells us that we must do everything in our power to avoid sin. And when we listen to the Gospel, Jesus is not telling us to maim ourselves. But instead, when he says, it is better if your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. He's telling us how terrible sin really is. And in many ways, what we are called to do is to avoid sin. So, for example, if you know that looking at certain things on the internet causes you to go to sin, do everything you can to close that computer, perhaps to throw that away. If other things cause you to sin, whether it's drinking or whether it's arguing with family members, do everything you can to avoid that situation. Don't place yourself in that mere occasion of sin. And he uses these graphic terms to tell us that there is a consequence to sin. And sin hurts our souls. And that we must use every means that we have to avoid. But the Lord loves us. The Lord knows that you and I are human. And yes, we fall. Yes, we sometimes give in to temptation and to sin. And he gives us that great gift of reconciliation. That opportunity for us, once again, to confess what we have done wrong, to seek God's forgiveness, and be restored to that grace that we receive at our baptism. We will have that opportunity again this Saturday. From 3 to 4 p.m., we will be hearing confessions. I invite those of you who have not experienced God's grace in a while to please come. 
all of the priests will be here. So the line should not be too long. And to know that God's grace, God's mercy, and God's forgiveness is greater than any fault of ours. And now let us place our needs before God. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may preach the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our world that our leaders will lead us to a greater life and to the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own nation that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life from the moment of conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all scientists and researchers that they may find a vaccine and a cure for the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering in any way, for those who are in hospitals and nursing homes, for those who are homebound, who are alone, afraid, and anxious, may they all know the healing touch of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died. May they be welcomed into the glory of God's heavenly kingdom. We continue to pray for all those who mourn for them. May they be comforted in our hope of resurrection and new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of today's liturgy, we pray for Michael Collins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all your needs and intentions that we bring to the altar today in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will. For they are made in the name of Jesus as he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is in itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and in joy we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, Beside thee.